All right, let's go back to the airship, which I believe is called the Fahrenheit. All right, so give it, talk to Bobby Hill. There's apparently a sphere we can learn about what happened in between Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X2. He knows everything. Uh, Why is that maybe, green? Maybe dossiers. Don't what? don't even. Yeah, maybe maybe it's in here. Want to look this up on your precious game facts while I go through this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want to know more about Trommel. Oh, hi, Samana Yuna. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no. It's the same voice track. Trommel. <laughs> Welcome to my first podcast. All right, this is apparently called Journey Star. <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Got him. They call it. A, they call it a spear cast over there. But anyway, <laughs> go back. <laughs> he, he wants you to give him five stars on iTunes. Before I start the spear cast, please listen to me talk about Stamps.com. Maybe he's guide to everything. I guess. <laughs> Where am I guide, going? Guide yeah. to everything. <laughs> Type Guado into Harry's.com for a discount. Where where is this? <laughs> Use promo code <laughs> Troma. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for, my man? No, I told him the chat to hurry up. <laughs> I mean, there's a 20 second delay. Do I have to? It's under treasure spheres, of course. <laughs> like we're the idiots. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, of course, it's under this insane classification. Okay, journey start. All right, let, now let's see. Yes. All right, let's take a gander. No, I'm not sorry. I haven't done anything wrong. I know you're listening. If she was your girl, what would you do? How can you blame me for trying to use your weapon? It was the only way I could save the summoner. What would you do if you were me? Let me out! I want to see her! That guy belongs in there. The nut. <laughs> I agree. I am great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you already saw this. Uh, this maybe they owned us. Oh, I thought it was going to be the... Like him laughing like Titus from the first game. <laughs> That'd be cool. Alright, well we saw that. So Alright. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's go on another mission. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, guys. With that pivotal plot point exposed, we can now move on. Titus is in a cage somewhere. <laughs> They jailed him for public indecency because he kept screaming and laughing. <laughs> also, he was naked. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, yes. That was like a fun mission. This one guy in the chat said we're losing steam. We only run on pyre flies, mister. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we never had any steam to begin with. Check the check the game. Check the sphere. Yeah, we're playing this on uh, Ubisoft's equivalent <laughs> of steam. No. Uh, 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 no. Okay. No. I kind of want to ride the shoe poof because I want to see what it's all about. Uh, people are excited to see Tobley's show. Mm. You know that it's not good to ride on elephants' backs because they're not meant to support the weight on their back, only like below them. I didn't know that. Oh, is Tobley the bird guy? That's voiced by Yakko Warner. I think so. There he is. There he is. 
I thought he was the other guy. But the tickets aren't selling. We'll end up with an empty house that's like a full house with none of the people. What like the full house reboot? Wow. <laughs> I'll cut the big Come on. Just sell, sell, sell for big, big profits. That's a good one. <laughs> Come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. With the Gullwings in charge, we'll sell out for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. Are we going to get to perform, actually, at this show? Like, use our actual talent? No, that's what all the, the dead guys are going to be doing. Ooh. Let's sell these things at a high price. Yeah, scalp them. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'll be back for you. Yeah. That's good. You're like Gordon Gecko. <laughs> <laughs> Can I interest you in a ticket? Yeah. Now you gotta drum up some uh, support here. Ah, oh, sweet. The kid in the weird jumpsuit doesn't want any. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you want to go to a show? You too busy staring at this corner? Staring at the shoe pup's butt? <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are yeah. you looking at? Go, go shoe pup. He said that's where the real <laughs> show is. <laughs> Maybe the shoe pup wants to buy a ticket. He just blows a snot on me. <laughs> I feel like I should ride the shoe puff. <laughs> Just tell all these people these are tickets to Hamilton. You could sell them for 5000 <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I lost that sale, yeah. I guess. Got it closed. That's why that's what I learned watching Shark Tank. Yeah. ABC. <laughs> Coffee is for closers. Am I selling these under value? They're valued at five thousand. So, every time you sell for a thousand, you get an extra five hundred. You mean me. five hundred? Yeah, excuse me, five hundred. These people don't want any. Why not even let me sell to them? Like, what? At least let me sell to the people that aren't interested, in just for them to say not interested. Ah! Ah, I'm just pushing my luck there. Should have known better. You got too greedy, but you know what they say. <laughs> what they say? They say greed is good. Who says that? Uh, uh, Donald Trump. The Wolf of Wall Street says <laughs> it. The Wall Street Wolf. <laughs> the Werewolf of Wall Street. <laughs> On the full moon, he turns into Gordon Gecko, and he says greed is good. <laughs> That's it. At the moon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This werewolf seems <laughs> wild. He seems out of control. And if they bring him to heal. He eats losers. <laughs> <laughs> and also his briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pees on it. And he's afraid of fireworks. I gotta get my sales uh, back yeah. up. And staying conservative. Just getting fired up. Are these like Vietnamese Viet Cong prisons over there? <laughs> like bamboo prisons? <laughs> you Help. Sell it to the China <laughs> cane. Help, I'm in a bamboo Shut prison. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Sorry, it's not That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. Man. You got some problems. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that enemy looked like he peaked in high school. So did I. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> you right there? <laughs> Strange response. I mean, yeah, it's... Eh. We gotta find more people to pitch to. Looks like two more, to be precise. You got Riku in pain. <laughs> See what they want to do. <laughs> Maybe that guy over there. Oh, we already talked to him, didn't we? I believe so. Yeah, he said no. Because I tried to sell him a overpriced ticket to this bad show. I'm sure it's going to be bad. He called you a capitalist pig. <laughs> and he but, spit at me. Yeah. Did it say we have to pitch 10 or just... Uh, I mean, every time you pitched... Uh, I know, try, try doing all of them. There's got to be two more people somewhere. Maybe you have to pitch like Swamp Thing. <laughs> it comes out of the swamp. I pitch to those monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need to ride the shoe puff. Oh yeah, good idea. Yep, I thought of it by myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's good no. thinking. Right. All aboard! Man, this is gonna be something. You're gonna be like accosting people while you ride the shoe puff and like asking them. Like those jerks at Home Depot who are like, <laughs> Ugh, I'm a I'm a contractor. Ugh. <laughs> I don't need your help. Please leave me alone. <laughs> You're just constantly getting attacked by contractors at the Home Depot. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I usually just tell them I want to screw it up first and then they can come fix it later. That's why I'm at the Home Depot. Well, did you sell the tickets, I mean? Mm, we did all right. We couldn't sell them all. He did a good job. Not bad at all. Oh, yes, oh, yes, before I forget. I've got to pay you your profits. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Seething cauldron. Well, then, many thanks for your help. Oh, we're really looking forward to the show. Yes. Now push him into the water so he gets the brain-eating amoeba. Yeah, get in the water, Toby. Do we get to see the show or not? No. What? <laughs> That's what? DLC, but they didn't invent DLC yet, so it's just not in the game. Have you guys ever bought tickets from a scalper? No. Man, I don't think so. I have. Cool. I was worried I was going to get arrested the whole time. You afraid it was a cop? <laughs> yeah, I was like, you're not a narc, are you? <laughs> He said, if you're a cop, you gotta tell me. Where was that at? Around here somewhere. The moon flow, right? That's where we were. Somebody says something about Jose Temple, maybe? Mission complete. Hmm. You think that was a reference at the time to, uh... Never mind. <laughs> I know where you're going. I thought it was funny ahead of time. <laughs> Thanks. What side did we join again? New Yevon or Youth League? The Youth League. Whichever one the atheists are. Yes, against my wishes. Isn't this Seymour's house? Block oh, lives here now. The dough wings. Oh come on! You're not getting in here, see? But LeBlanc broke into our airship. Well, there come he in goes then. For the great LeBlanc. Uh. I'm gonna have to sneak in. Richter14 says Seymour Butts lives here. <laughs> Think about it. 
Just think about what it means. <laughs> think about it. Just try to decouple yourself from Seymour and then butts. I've thought about it, and I've made my decision. It's funny. <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about it. She said take the high road. Is that what she said? I wasn't... I was half reading. Okay. This is the high road, right? It's gotta be the high road. Mr. Aptronym says that he keeps getting atheist channel recommendations on YouTube and he thinks it's because it, he follows us. I, that's on you. <laughs> that's on you. We were very religious. I, I don't know if you're watching The Amazing Atheist and things like that. No, that's on you. These people keep talking about the sphere from Kilika. Perhaps we need to go there. Let's see this guy's wares first. Nothing good. Oh boy. I remember this from Final Fantasy X. Did you dodge the lightning a hundred times? Yes. Did you really? Yes. How did you do that? I don't know, there was like a trick. It's so boring. Hey, I'm a pretty boring guy. <laughs> <laughs> you had to dodge the lightning like a hundred times or something, Tom, to get some summon or something. It's like the ultimate weapon for Lulu, I believe. As if I didn't know it concretely off the top <laughs> of my head. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to go across this area. You're not. All the areas like interconnect with each other, but you also have the airship now, so there's really not much point. Yeah, like you get the airship to start, so it's like... I don't know, it's confusing that it does that. Like, why, why is there a need to do that? You can just walk through the entire universe. So we can avoid fighting things that you don't need to fight, which is what we're doing right now. Nah. Hey, I need the levels. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. They should just turn encounters off. No. I refuse to be weak. We're going to do this the right way. I mean, didn't we not just celebrate Independence Day yesterday? What would our forefathers think if we were running from battles constantly in Final Fantasy X2? Uh, it's about being efficient. See, you're like that guy at work, you know, like, you get assigned a new job, and you d automate it with Excel macros or something, and you finish it in, like, 30 seconds, but everybody gets pissed at you. Yeah. Because you're doing, like, eight hours of work, like, automated, so they give you more work. All right, we need to go to Jose Temple. I don't know why I didn't go to that sphere, safe sphere right there. Oh boy. I only have enough patience for one battle. One battle per area. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rule. they are the same enemies over and over again, so... Not that it's a complaint! I'm just, you know, it's... Too up. Mm. I guess he's right. What's going on here? Everyone's staring. You're famous, Uni. Better get used to it. <sighs> All I want is some peace and quiet. Poor thing. She's led such a sheltered life. Maybe she's getting old. <laughs> Who's getting old? She should just retire like Notch. Get a house with a candy wall. It's lonely. It's a lonely existence. <laughs> Leader of the machine faction. Mm. He seems cool. He can be kind of annoying, but he's all right. Okay, let's do some interviews. Bring it. 
Yeah. Hey, Chai. Yeah, he seems all right. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you want to join the Youth League? Where do you see yourself in five years? Register? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Tell me, what is your biggest weakness? <laughs> Very impressive resume. I see you killed Sin. <laughs> Don't think you're a uh, youth league material. I don't think you'd fit in well with the culture here. We have a ball pit and an on site barber. <laughs> you think they let dogs in the office? Gosh, I hope so. Those dogs that they have in the prairie lands or wherever we were. Yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe this person knows where to register. Oh, we gotta go wait in the line. I think when you talk to people, the queue, as they say, across the pond, gets shorter. Ah, uh, the queue wee wee. <laughs> yes. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh. You know, people say uh, you wait online. <laughs> Ever hear people say that? I have. That's so. Why would you? It's, it's in line. You wait in line. You don't wait online. Yeah, take it to them, Tom. <laughs> uh, just on the World Wide Web. Come on now. It's wait in line. <laughs> like Andy Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bone to pick. With this English language. <laughs> this guy's taking no prisoners. That's right. Listen to my podcast. <laughs> Available on iTunes. Alright, I think we could finally go in there, huh? So nervous. I hope we get the job. Hello. You are uh, here for an interview. The Great High Summoner wants an interview? The camera's making me sick. Former Summoner. Hmm. Alright, follow me. Good interview. You nailed it. I think it's, uh... We're on to the second phase of the interview. I don't think it's over yet, Tom. It's like a Google interview, they're gonna ask you a wacky question about being the size of a flea being stuck in a blender. Did, did he walk out here? I thought he did, but I guess Ah, not. this is the first test of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the interview is nothing but riddles. I hope it's better than that movie, the interview. I saw that. Ah, uh, yeah. I did, too. There was, like, a my lot of... patriotic duty. Yeah, that's how I felt, too. There was a lot of hype. That it was gonna start World War Three. It didn't. Nope. Oh, you guys are talking about the North Korea movie. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I got that and, uh, the, the intern. internship. Or whatever <laughs> it was. Uh, confused. The true story. Not to go on too much of a tangent here. Me and Judge watched like 20 minutes of The Intern uh, this weekend. Oh, it was yeah. playing on HBO, the Robert De Niro instant oh. classic, in my opinion. He gets an internship at some, like, uh, I don't know what to call it, some modern company. I want to say Web 2.0, but that would date me. 
This is the best joke I've ever seen from Jampolian. Use the dress sphere for the job you want, not the one you have. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. Shut That's it good. down. Make this person a men drinking cup. Yeah, he's an honorary member. <laughs> Man, please don't troll him. Yeah, he gets troll immunity. <laughs> he gets the troll immunity necklace. <laughs> Give it to him. <laughs> he can't be voted off. Hey, uh, take it from that guy that was helping us and give it to him. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna have to earn it back if you want it again. And I gotta find where this guy went. I've been dawdling around talking about Robert De Niro movies. So what is the name of the movie where they're the Google interns? <laughs> the that might be the internship. <laughs> I prefer the intern. I'm so confused. I could get used to this. Whoa. He's a flamenco Let's dancer. Not. Well, if it isn't Sid's girl, how you been? Hey, I have a name. Huh. Brother doing okay? Same as ever. Buddies around too. <laughs> Same as ever is right. Okay, you! Payne, nice to meet you. Uh, huh? We're here for the interview. Right. The interview. Another creep. <laughs> you sure Tired you want to dig? Because we're talking about the desert, ladies. Not exactly a picnic. All right, you're hired. Welcome. Huh? Tough interview. You are hired. Don't know why a superstar like you would want to play in the sand. Well, do what you gotta do. Anyways, I've done what I can. Dig to your heart's content. Um, thanks. Show this letter to a woman named Nadala. You'll find her in the Beaconel Desert. Happy digging! Hmm. I don't like that guy. I dug him. I think this is gonna lead to the, the Thunder Plains. Are we sure? What if it leads to Thunder Dome? <laughs> Listen, can't we just get beyond Thunder Dome? <laughs> you can't go beyond Thunder Dome. Who are you? <laughs> Let's see where he takes us. <laughs> it's <an> Uber. <laughs> his, his peak pricing is gonna be a hundred dollars. <laughs> this isn't where we're supposed to be at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back. Yeah, surprise, we got lost. <laughs> Come at us, trolls. <laughs> Brought down by everyday simple water. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think. Just like the witch in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, get me back to where I was. I think Beaconel Desert is a, an option on your airship. Okay. Maybe. I think it was actually in the temple that person said, like, oh, you're not a digger. Like in the temple on the stairs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice work! Nah. <laughs> Jinx. Wait, Pain learned Silver Bullet? Does that mean she has a gun blade? Oh, just like my favorite Final Fantasy character. Yeah. Cypher. Wow. He's not actually my favorite Final Fantasy character. Who's your favorite Final Fantasy character, Tom? I, I thought we went over this already. Did we? You know, from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, just in the universe in general. In the universe in general. Uh, let's see. Who can I remember the names of? <laughs> yeah, you got that Sid. would determine you definitely who got my Sid. favorite is. Uh, You'd probably go with Sid, huh? Yeah, probably. What about Moogle? <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> I like, uh, in, in Final Fantasy uh, VII, the guy that runs- I've talked about this before, the guy that runs the gold saucer, he's uh, in a Dio. speedo. Dio, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. He is by far my favorite. Wow. Cool. Hmm. Judge, do you have a favorite? Uh, 
It's hard to argue against Seymour from this game. He's the ultimate badass villain in this series. That's a good point. You make a good point about Seymour. Alright, let's see where we got it. With a name like that, how could you not instill fear in all of your enemies? Seymour. 